Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating this pattern in Illustrator and then transforming it very quickly and easily to make this pattern as well. I'm going to start with a new file. It doesn't matter how big your file is. Mine's 1920 by 1080, which is screen size. I have the default stroke and fill selected here. I'm going to the line segment tool. I'm going to draw a line. So I'm holding the shift key as I draw out a line. I'm just looking at the tool tip as I do, and I'm going to stop around the 300 pixel mark. It doesn't have to be exact, but that's an approximate value. I'm going to make my line about 10 points and I'm going to give it round end. So I'm going to stroke and I'm just going to click on the round end element there. Let's click away from the line. Going back to the line segment tool, I'm going to click once in the document this time. It's pretty important that we set this up manually. So I'm going to set this to 255, which is a little bit short of this line. This line was just over 300. So 255 is about 50 short of the end of this line. So a little bit shorter, but not really a lot shorter. We're making it 30 degrees. That's really important. Click OK. And so I'm going to move this so that these are lined up at the top. So I'm just grabbing the line and looking for that intersection point. You can check it by choosing view and outline and then just zoom in here to make sure that everything is nicely lined up, which it is view and then GPU preview to exit control and zero to zoom back out. I'm going to select this line and I'm going to reflect it with object transform reflect I'm reflecting over the vertical. I want the original line plus this new copy. So I'm going to click copy. Hold down the shift key so you're moving in a perfectly horizontal direction and just move this line over until it intersects. Now you can check that again using that outline view with view and then outline perfectly lined up. View GPU preview. I'm going to select over all of these shapes and group them with object and then group. And then we're going to rotate them to create our basic shape with effect, distort and transform and then transform. Now we want to rotate everything around this anchor point. So out of these nine boxes, that's the middle bottom one. That's really important so that your rotation is correct. We want two more copies. So we want one out here and one out here. So I'm just going to crank that up to two and we need to rotate around 120 degrees. That's 360 degrees divided by three. Essentially our original plus two copies and we want these to be evenly rotated. So you can create it by the typing 120 in here or 360 by three divided by three and Illustrator will do the math for you. And here is our perfect rotation. Click OK. This is the base shape for our pattern. So we simply with everything still selected, object pattern make. Click OK. Now at this point it's important not to panic because it looks absolutely horrible and you wonder how you're ever going to get it to look right. Well, we're going to start by going to Tile Type and choose Brick by Column. And that makes things a whole lot better. And make sure your brick offset is one half. Make sure that this icon looks like this so it's got a line through it because that allows you to separately adjust the width and height. And we're going to start to decrease the width. And what you're looking for here is this bit the spacing between these and you want three bars here. So you want to see three bars over here. I'm only seeing a very small number of copies here. So I'm going to crank that up to nine by nine. Just makes life a little bit easier. You can see these three bars. So when you see those, you're good and done. So then you're going to just adjust the height and you're going to bring that in. So start decreasing it. And you're going to know when you've got things right because this is the effect that you're going to get. Now, if we push out the width a bit more, you can see we can get these lines to join up. But if we push out the width, we'll need to push out the height as well. So I'm just increasing the height and increasing the width. And so I get this sort of joined up look. I'm going to zoom out and I'm also going to turn off my artboard with view and then hide artboards just makes it a little bit easier to see what's happening. So here we have the first of our patterns with everything joined up. Really nice pattern, super simple to make. I'll click done. Now 
We've got our pattern up here, but we can easily turn it into the second pattern that we looked at in the introduction. To do that, I'm just going to click on this pattern here and I'm going to click the plus sign and click OK because that makes a duplicate and we can now edit the duplicate. We don't have to do all the setup work, just a quick edit. So I'm going to double click on that to open up the pattern dialog again. This time we're going to bring in these values. So I'm going to decrease my width and I'm going to decrease my height. I'm just eyeballing it to make sure it looks pretty even and now we get this slightly offset look. You can see that these lines are not getting all the way to the edge. Another look for this pattern. I'll click done. Now if you want other varieties of the pattern you could change the line length here. So you might want to try it at say around about 220 maybe to see if you can get a different look to your line, well a slightly different look to your line, but you should be able to get these patterns very easily out of this starting point. So I'm going to select these objects, let's just move them out of the way temporarily, let's go and create a rectangle and let's fill it with our patterns to test them. So here is the first pattern with everything joined up. I'm going to scale it with Object Transform Scale. I'm going to deselect Transform Objects because I don't want to transform my objects. I do want a uniform scale and I'm going to bring my scale in nice and small. So I'm using 30% here. So here is the pattern. Now I'm saying a slight fracture line through there, but this is just Illustrator on my screen because it's not really there. Don't let Illustrator fool you. So I'm going to reselect this and let's click on our second pattern and that's a little bit more of an intense pattern. So there's a quick and easy way to create these geometric patterns in Adobe Illustrator. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.